Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So, you wouldn't believe it, right? I've only had this damn thing about five months, six months. Um, so, this is my uh, Cobra uh, one kilowatt um, inverter generator, right? And it's been brilliant. I've been raving about the thing. And then the other day, it just would not go. Um, I've done about 500 hours on it. And like I said, yeah, I've been raving about it. So, you know, this is the... This right um and it just would not start and then you know i had a look at the cable so i can't even pull that at the moment right the cable's about to snap anyway um and when i did get it running it just did not sound happy um so i can get the engine to start but i think the inverter's fried so yeah i'm gonna see if i can send that away for a, a warranty replacement yeah, um, and then I don't know, flog it or just keep it with the existing boat when I sell the boat next year. Uh, so moving right along, <laughs> wait to see this. Oh, I made a little bit of a, um, shall we say, miscalculation <laughs> when it came to this generator. Um, I didn't quite realise the size of the thing. I found it on Facebook Marketplace down at Kidderminster. Um, and thanks to Haley and her husband, um, thanks Haley, they actually dropped it over to the pub just down here. Yeah, so um, we're going to catch up. They're a lovely couple. I'm going to catch up after the lockdown. Um, and but they were selling this um, this generator um, because they're going to use it for a, like a motorhome project that fell through because of COVID and what have you. So they just want to get rid of it. Um, and it's brand new, never been used. Um, uh, so <laughs> wait to <you> see this. <laughs> this is my new generator. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's massive bloody thing. So um, it's rated at 7.5 kilowatts. So it's got three, you know, 220 volt outputs there. It's also got three phase output, <laughs> uh, so I could potentially run a welder. So, and it says so big silent letters, you know, um, but it's actually not that much more noisy than the previous one. Sorry, let's fire it up. So, you know, it's not too bad, yeah? That's awesome, actually. It's got a huge ass buffer on it. You know. Uh, and uh, yeah. So yeah, 15 litre, 15 litre, it's petrol, 15 litre fuel tank. Um, so we're just gonna run it in you know, break it in, more or less, for the first 20 hours, and then I'll change the oil, and then, um, then I don't have to do another oil change for at least another 100 hours, so. But I'm just standing a little bit away from the boat now, so you can kind of, you can't even hear it now. A little bit of a drone, but it's not, that's actually not too bad. It's no, it's no louder than the other one, really. Maybe a little bit, you know? Um, but... I forgot I have the initial shock of the size of it because it's absolutely massive. Um, I'm like, where the hell am I going to store this on my little boat, you know? Luckily, it will fit uh, on the bow. So at the moment, I'm making arrangements to fit a U-bolt um, and stuff on into the deck so I can store it securely um, so it doesn't go walkabout, yeah? Um, and <laughs> but then it got me thinking. I thought, well, why don't I... This is a really good little idea for next year when I get my narrowboat. Um, is why don't I um, become a roving trader and offer like a, a, a floating workshop kind of thing. And I thought, well, why don't we just do some market research first? So I was thinking, you know, because it came up on the narrowboat forum the other day. Someone was talking about wanting to get generators or extra power to run power tools and that sort of thing. And I'm like, so I want to do market research first. So if there's any boaters out there that need some extra power... Um, I can't sell you my services because I'm not registered as a roving trader. But if you want to buy me a six pack and chuck some fuel into it, it's all yours, you know. If you need, you know, extra power, like 7,500 watts <laughs> and three phase as well. 
Um, so yeah, if there's any boaters out there that need some extra power, let me know. Send me a form on the website, aussieboater.co.uk forward slash contact. I've got the new engine now. I'm quite happily cruise up to you wherever you are on the network, um, within reason, because <laughs> I'm in Midlands at the moment, right? So not too far away, but I thought, well, just see if there's an actual, you know, need for it. And if there is, you know, perhaps this is something I can consider uh, next year when I get my narrowboat and offer a service as a roving trader floating workshop. Because I could potentially have, you know, I'm getting all bits of tools and stuff. I've got drills. I've just bought a bilge pump as well. Um, so I can have various tools and a welder and all that kind of stuff and just travel around, travel around the canal. It gives me a little something else to do, a bit more purpose. Um, I could even get one of those, um, you know, unpowered buddies or a, a, an unpowered narrowboat to tow alongside my existing narrowboat or a buddy attached to the front of the narrowboat and make it into a workshop. I'm like, that's actually really a good idea. So, yeah, like I said, if there's any boaters out there that need extra power, I've got it. I've got the power now. <laughs> so, yeah, hit me up. But, um, yeah, so I'm grateful. I really am because I've just... Um, really want to say thank, big thank you to all my sponsors um, who've, because I was beginning to freak out, you know, I'm like, oh, we're coming into winter, what do I do? You know, but my sponsors all sort of banded together and, and bought me this thing. But would you believe, this was the same price as that stupid inverter generator. And I'll never buy an inverter generator again after this. That's the second one I've been through. Um, so for the same money, I got this. It's a, just a generator. Um, so, a, you know, industrial one. <laughs> So it's absolutely awesome. So um, yeah, so that's it for me. Um, yeah, I'll um, yeah. <laughs> just get over the size of it. 